Friends and Foes, Poems About Us All by Douglas Florian. Poems read to you by staff and teachers of Manchester Elementary Middle School. What friends are for? For sharing, for caring, for giving, for giving, for walking, for talking, for waiting, relating, for pleasing, for teasing, for finding, reminding, for lending, for mending, for treating you fair. But what matters most? For just being there. Read for you by Mrs. Nicholson. I like you. I like you when you listen. I like you when you talk. I like you when you whistle. I like you when we walk. I like you when we wrestle. I like you when we race. I like you when you tell a joke or make a silly face. I like you when we play all day or when the play must end. But most of all, I like you because you are my friend. Read for you by Mrs. Leslie. You don't. You don't text. You don't call. You don't message me at all. You don't email. You don't write. We don't talk day or night. You don't tweet. You don't chat. You don't joke or chew the fat. Not one note did you send. Hey, what's up with you, my friend? Read for you by Mr. Smithwick. Old Friends, a poem for two voices. We're old friends. That's what we are. We're old friends. We go back far. We're old friends. We're friends true and true. We're old friends. But just like new. We're old friends. I don't want to jinx it. But I know what she thinks. Before she even thinks it. Read by Renee Kittler and... Emily Kittler. Close friends. We stick, we two, like glue, like glue. We stick like thick molasses. So close we are, we stick like tar and share one pair of glasses. Read for you by Mrs. Lewis. You lied to me. You lied to me. I thought you were true. I didn't expect that from someone like you. I thought you were honest, a friend to be trusted. But now that connection is broken and busted. You lied to me. It hurt me to learn it. If you want my friendship, then you'll have to earn it. Read by Mrs. Underwood. I'm friends with trees. I'm friends with trees, with bumblebees, and every creeping creature. I'm friends with stones and dinosaur bones, but mostly Mother Nature, read by Mrs. Monahan. Strangers. Once we two were strangers, I found you somewhat strange, but when I learned about you, then things began to change. We come from different cultures, we speak a different tongue. I come from California, you grew up in Hong Kong. The foods we eat are different, our clothes are different too, We've got different religions. I look different than you. Once we two were strangers, we seem so far apart. But now, despite our differences, we're both the same at heart. Read for you by Ms. Hughes. Billy the Bully. Billy the Bully was mean and atrocious, spiteful and frightful, and fiercely ferocious. He loved to wreak havoc, disturbing the peace till he was surprised by a girl named Clarice. This poem was read to you by Miss Sandra. How do you say friend? In Spain they say amigo. The Danish word is ven. Italians say amico. In Afrikaans it's friend. The Maltese say Habib. The French folk say ami. The Irish word is Kara, Swahili, Rafiki. In different countries, friendship may have a different name. 
but though the spelling's different, the meaning is the same. Read by Mrs. Monahan. We used to be friends. We used to be friends, but we drifted apart. Don't mesh anymore. Don't see heart to heart. We used to be friends. We drifted away. Will we get back together? Well, maybe someday. Read for you by Scott Diedrich. Imaginary Friend I'm thinking thoughts concerning my imaginary friend. He really isn't real at all. He's make-believe, pretend. I talk to him at times when I am lonely and I'm bored. Or if I feel neglected, lost, abandoned, or ignored. He listens to my problems, then he offers a solution. He makes my fears all disappear and clears up my confusion. I'm thinking thoughts so thoroughly, but I just had one quite scary. Perhaps my friend is really real and I'm imaginary. Read for you by Ms. Lavalley. Moved. My best friend moved away last week. The girl who lived next door. And every day we used to speak. She's not here anymore. We'd share all of our secrets and all our hidden dreams. We'd bike around the neighborhood and plan all sorts of schemes. We'd read each other's stories and tell jokes all the time. We were so close in nature, it's like we were in rhyme. We helped each other study, preparing for a test. She was good at history. In science, I was best. My best friend moved away last week. I miss her very much. But we still speak. Ten times a week, we love to keep in touch. Read for you by Mrs. Barclay. I hate your hair. I hate your hair. I hate your eyes. I hate your stare. I hate your lies. I hate your knees. I hate your nose. I even hate your tiny toes. I hate it how you walk so slow. But still, I'd hate for you to go. Read by Mrs. Lewis. You're not my best friend. You're not my best friend, not my second or third, not my fourth, not my fifth, not my sixth, take my word. But you are my good friend. You're a good friend to me. You are my good friend, number 993. Read by Ms. Green Davis. Hey, you. Hey, you. You want to be my friend? Yeah, you. My friend until the end, to do my chores and open doors, to walk my dog and write my blog, to scratch my toes and blow my nose, to sweep my room with my big broom, to fix my chair and comb my hair, to feed my cat and find my hat, to mop my floor, go to the store, to do my mending, stitching, sewing, Hey, you, where are you going? Read for you by Richard Zelenitz. Give and take. I gave you a dollar. You gave me a dime. I gave you ten lemons. You gave me one lime. I gave you red rubies, blue sapphires, and gold. But you only sneezed and gave me your cold. Read for you by Mrs. Stefanak. Jealous. I used to be jealous of someone I knew. Her hair was so shiny, her clothes always new. She had all the answers. Her grades were so high. She never seemed nervous or needed to cry. Her manner was patient when waiting her turn. Her voice was so gentle, not blaring or stern. She never was lonely, had so many friends, and always was busy on all her weekends. I used to be jealous of someone I knew, till one day she told me, I'm jealous of you. Read by Miss Carmichael. Not talking. Sally will not speak to Sam. 
Sam won't talk to Jill. Jill won't say a word to Joe. Joe's ignoring Bill. Bill is not so nice to Pam. Pam is sore at Sue. And I would tell you more, perhaps, but I won't talk to you. The Fabulous Five. We're the Fabulous Five on the basketball court. We're the Fabulous Five shooting hoops is our sport. We're the Fabulous Five and love playing together. We're the Fabulous Five even when it's bad weather. We're the Fabulous Five, that's our fabulous name. We're the Fabulous Five, but we lose every game. Performed by Mr. Schatz. I'm better. I'm better at hiking. I'm better at biking. I'm better at jogging. I'm better at blogging. I'm better at reading. I'm better at weeding. I'm better at riddles. I'm better at fiddles. I'm better at walking. I'm better at talking. We each can find something. That better we do. But I'll never find a friend. Better than you. Read by Ms. Melissa King and Malayla Green. My smartest friend. I have a friend who's brilliant. She's so sophisticated. Her knowledge is enormous and she's highly educated. Her grasp of facts is awesome. Her memory is massive. Her mind is great to calculate. In math, she is impressive. She really is reliable. She never will complain. She's flexible and pliable and eager to explain. And though she's not so beautiful, I've many friends far cuter. I can't complain or tax my brain. My friend is a computer. Read to you by Brittany Dombrowski. Opposites, a poem for two voices. I'm short. I'm tall. I'm shy. I've got gall. I'm Chinese. I'm British. I speak Spanish. I know Yiddish. I love red. I love blue. I'm smart. I'm smart too. Read for you by Miss McCall. And Miss McCall's husband. Sleepover. Amy and Nomi and Dolly and Dottie came to my home for a sleepover party. We gabbed and we blabbed and we laughed and we leaped. Had great tons of fun, but not too much sleep. Read by Renee Kittler. Friendship is a flower. Friendship is a flower. You have to let it grow. You really cannot rush it. You have to take it slow. Friendship is a flower. You have to give it room so it can grow the deepest roots and marvelously bloom. Read by Roisin Carthy. I hope you've enjoyed this collective reading of Friends and Foes, Poems About Us All by Douglas Florian. Thank you very much for the teachers and staff at MEMS Manchester Elementary Middle School for bringing this poetry book to life.